In this video, we will be studying the Smith Volterra Cantor set, which is a particular set of what we will know in the next video as a fat Cantor set. So, the idea of in general fat Cantor sets is finding sets that are Cantor like, that is, they are uncountable, they are perfect, and they are totally disconnected in the zero one. But in this case, we don't want these sets to have measure zero. We want these sets to have any measure alpha greater to zero. And in this case, we will form a set, let's call it F, such that its measure is going to be one half. So the idea is how do we use Cantor's construction, that is dividing the zero one into different pieces, removing some of those pieces, to get a set of measure one half. And in the next video, we will see how we can generalize this idea to get even more general sets with some positive measure. So the idea would be to start very similarly to how we started with Cantor set, but instead of removing every time the same ratio that was in Cantor set, it was one third, now we will be changing that ratio. So we will start as before with the zero one. And this will obviously be our f sub zero. But what we will do in the next step is removing the middle one fourth. And if I take this unit interval and divide it into fourths, then I cannot find it. But what I can do is divide it into eight. And then say, okay, so these two intervals, this is the middle fourth. And this is the one that we will be removing. So we will have the 3 over 8 and the 5 over 8. And that interval 3 over 8, 5 over 8 will be the one that we will remove for the first iteration. So on F1, we will have from 0 all the way up to 3 over 8 and then from 5 over 8 we can go all the way up to number 1. And now you could think, okay, I'm going to do the same, divide everything into 8 pieces and remove the middle fourth. But no, because that would actually lead us to a set with measure 0. What the idea now will be to remove less and less on each iteration, so that the final measure is not zero, but some number positive, and hopefully, in this video, it will be one half. So if I continue with these marks, then I have here divided by eight. These are one over eight of the total. And I can just divide these ones again into halves. So here I would have 1 over 16th each of these intervals and I continue one more time and I divide it again into halves. So now each of these small intervals has measured 1 over 32. And I will take the middle 1 over 16th. So I will be taking two of these intervals. So I will try and draw this in this interval, it would be this piece here. This is the middle sixteenth. And in this one, I think, if I'm not wrong, is this one. The middle sixteenth. So F2 will be from the zero up to this number and from this up to here. So you can see it's not exactly the proportional. Well, and you can continue like this. So let's calculate how much we removed. On this first step, we removed one interval of size one over four. On the second step, we removed two intervals of length 1 over 16. 1 over 16 is 1 over 4 squared. 
So we can say that in the third step, we would be removing, and I'm just gonna do a drawing so that it's a bit more visual, but it will be something like this. And so here we are removing one, two, three, four of, and the side length, it would be one over 64. And one over 64, is 1 over 4 to the power 3. So we could say that we go on like this and on the step f sub k we would be removing 2 to the k minus 1 because f3 is 4 so it's 2 to the 3 minus 1 is 2 squared and so the same applies to the other ones. So 2 to the k minus 1 intervals of length. It's very simple, it's 4 to the power k. So to the minus k because it's 1 over 4. So now the set we're actually building would be f equal to the intersection of all these f's of k. So it would be basically just continuing this construction up to infinity. And so with this we can calculate the measure of f and it's going to be the measure of the 0, 1 minus the measure of everything we have removed. And the measure of the things we removed is how many we removed times their length. So we will have on each step, so we will have a sum from k equals 1 up to infinity of, well, we said that on each step we removed 2 to the k minus 1 times 4 to the minus k, because that's the length of each of the intervals we removed. So I'm going to write this as, well, 4 to the minus k is 2 to the minus 2k, and this is obviously 1 over 2 to the 2k. We have a series and we have to calculate its conversions. It's starting from 1, so let me first uh, start it from 0. First, the measure of the 0 one is 1. And I can write this as um, the sum from k equals 0 up to infinity and when we lower the number on which we are starting the sum we have to add 1 to the index inside the sum so we have 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1 okay where it says k we have to put k plus 1 divided by 2 to the 2k instead of 2k it will be 2 times k plus 1 Let's see if we can write this a bit better. We have 1 minus the sum 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1 is 2 to the k divided by 2 to the 2k plus 2. So this is obviously 1 minus the sum. Of, and we would have 1 over this 2k, with this k it removes 1, so we would have 2 to the k plus 2. And we can actually take this 2 squared outside, so it will be 1 over 4. And now we have a geometric series, so we can calculate this is 1 minus 1 4 times, and the sum of the geometric series was 1 over 1 minus the ratio, and the ratio in this case is 1 half. So this gives us 1 minus 1 over 4 times 1 minus a half is a half, and 1 over a half is 2. So this gives us 1 minus 1 half, which is equal, obviously, to 1 half. And that's it. So we were able to prove that the measure of f is one half. So now the question is, okay, this is great, 
I started with 1 over 4 and this led me to get measure 1 half. Well, can I do this in a way that the measure of f is equal to some number beta greater to 0? So, if I want to start with some number beta, how do I have to build this? Because I didn't start with 1 half. I started here with 1 over 4 and eventually I got 1 half. Well, try to copy this construction and see if you can manage to get this. If you can't, don't worry, we'll do this in the next video.